Honor. Um, to, right now, we're going to have a bit of a switch up. Uh, Honor will be talking on behalf of Nollywood as the CEO of the Nigerian International Film Summit Industry. Over to you, Mrs. Um, good morning, uh, everyone from Night from Lagos. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here this uh, at this time to talk about Nollywood. Of course, you know that Nollywood is um, a, a major sector, uh, you know, in the creative industry in Nigeria. And over the years, we have seen it grow organically, and we have seen um, a lot of impact of Nollywood in the Nigerian. Um, um, film and, and television space, both locally and international. I want to talk a bit because um, I, I have a background in distribution and um, <clears throat> I have done a bit of international business as well. So I want to talk about Nollywood uh, in terms of um, how it, uh, it's, it's traveling and how it's uh, um, opening up business and opportunities within, especially within the continent of Africa and beyond. For example, in, in French speak, speaking Africa, you have a lot of followership and a lot of, a huge consumption of um, Nollywood content. And that is why in recent years, you have seen uh, a lot of dubbing studios opening up in Côte d'Ivoire, in Senegal, and of course, we also have dubbing studios in, in Paris. And a huge chunk of what they are doing is dubbing Nollywood um, films from English to, um, to French. And what it means is that uh, because of the huge appetite and the huge demand for Nollywood content, <coughs> excuse me, um, both for television and on demand, it necessitates, you know, this huge investment into uh, dubbing studios to, to, to be able to meet that demand. So we can say that in Fra Francophone Africa, in French-speaking Africa, um, a lot of businesses, in, in, in a lot of channels, you know, uh, and within the audiovisual space have been sustained from, with content from Nollywood, from Nigeria. And I think that is very, very instructive because, um, We've been able to overcome the, the language barrier, right? Uh, to be able to go into these other countries where English is not spoken, but yet because of localization, because of dubbing, that our content is not being, you know, you know, is not being consumed. And also, very important to say that most times within the distribution projections, you know, for return of, on investment, when producers are looking at how to make their money back. You know, the localized version, the French dub version, for example, is actually not, you know, in, uh, is not in their projection. But we have seen that this is a, we've seen huge chunk of revenue coming in, right? Unexpected, unplanned for, but the opportunities exist and the opportunities continue to open up new revenue streams for producers, which is very, very good and interesting. Because at the end of, when, when producers are making their projections on how to get money, first of all, you know that here in Nigeria, we have a very big, um, at least our, our cinema industry is uh, still growing and with huge potentials. And that is why you have company like Vivendi coming to, you know, the French company Vivendi coming to open up studio, um, of theaters here in Nigeria one in Abuja and already open, and then another one coming up in Lagos. So the cinema industry here is still very, very at, you know, uh, exploitable. There is huge and massive opportunity, you know. Uh, at, at the moment, we have about uh, less than 100 screens, I, I, because new cinemas have, have opened, so I don't have the exact numbers, but still less than 100 uh, at the moment. Um, but with this, we have seen, um, we've seen people appreciating even local content, Nollywood, recently, uh, one of the, within this pandemic period, I think was re released in November, it's called um, Omogeto, is grossing about 400 million naira, which is massive. Okay, so these are, so when producers 
you know, invest or, in, or you know, people who invest in film, when they come in to invest, they, 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 they're actually not looking at this other international side. And that is where some of us play, you know, to be able to open up our industry to in, in, international business because locally they are self-sustained, right? Nollywood can, you know, be sustained by business that is happening locally in Nigeria. You can imagine a, a film just within Nigeria grossing 400 million, you know, 400 million uh, uh, naira, which maybe in, 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 in should be close to um, a million euros thereabouts, you know. So what, what we're trying to do, what we've been trying to do over the years, like launching the Nigeria International uh, TV Summit in Paris, working with the French Embassy, is to, you know, open up our industry to international business, to let them know that, guys, there are other opportunities. This content is traveling, it's being appreciated in, you know, even in other languages. We've seen Nollywood going into other Portuguese, being dubbed in Portuguese and, of course, French. So the opportunities are, are massive and um, we, we, we are looking forward to an exponential growth in the next couple of years where we'll begin, to, especially with, with the uh, OTT platforms that are coming up. If you look at Netflix also, from the ancillary side, you notice that a huge number of um, content from Nigeria is on Netflix and they are being consumed and they are doing extremely well. So Netflix is taking Nigeria very seriously because um, apart from the commercial viability of Nollywood films on, on the platform, um, it's also, there is a huge appetite for it as well. So I think this will be my opening um, comments. I don't know if, uh, I, I, how many more minutes I have or if I need to take questions. Hello. Five minutes, yeah. Okay, I have five more minutes. All right, thank you. Um, so within the five minutes that I have, I think I will also would want to highlight the opportunities for investment uh, locally in Nigeria uh, in terms of production. People who are looking, you know, uh, because like I already mentioned, content from Nigeria is quite commercial. Yeah, and it does, there is a huge demand for it. There is a huge appetite for it. So with the Nigeria International Film Summit, which we hold every year in, in the U.S. Uh, uh, during the American film market, and also in Paris every year, what we've tried to do is to help connect potential investors, financiers, and people who are interested you know, in doing business in Nigeria, helping to connect them with the right people. Because we found out that, you know, a lot of people really understand that there are potentials in Nigeria, but they really can't figure out, you know, how they can go about this. So uh, uh, over the years, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy to say that we've seen a lot of traction between French and Nigerian companies. We've seen um, French companies. I'm currently working on a, 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 an IPT project, and our major partner is a French company delivering about 30 channels you know, at 30 linear channels to, you know, for this service. Uh, and I've also seen other partnerships being birthed between French and Nigerian companies within the audiovisual space. <clears throat> and so the point I'm trying to make is that there, there are credible people and companies that, you know, uh, uh, that can be trusted, that you can work with locally, either in the area of production or even in offering um, technology and solutions especially within the digital space, because this is a new space that is opening up and there is a lot of attention, there's a lot of investment. So we have our strengths in, in the area of production, for example, talking about, still talking about Nollywood, we have, very, we have stories that resonate across Africa with, you know, in spite of the language barriers, our stories resonate among French speaking Africa, our story, stories, um, uh, resonate in English speaking Africa, and of course the diaspora. So we have that going um, for us. So it's very important for 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 those who want to do business in Nigeria to also with with Nollywood, you know, to also understand that um, the commercial viability uh, of of Nollywood across Africa. We've seen 
millions of you know dollars and euros raised every year you know in distribution efforts because like i said i've worked in distribution so i understand uh some of the revenue potentials or rather not potential now but kind of revenue streams that we have seen coming in from francophone africa you know and of course even from you know from france um uh, because of uh, the demand for Nollywood um, content. So there are, there are huge potentials, either in the area of production. Uh, another area also is post-production. Um, we, uh, at this point in time, because we, at, at, at the summit, we're always pushing for our producers to make sure that they are producing with international version. And international, for you to do international version, there are certain things that has to be in place so that it can be localized into any language, can be localized into French, to Swahili, to Spanish, whatever language it is. So there is huge opportunity also for post-production uh, studios um, to, um, to, 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 to make inroads into Nigeria. And I'm also happy that um, we also have dubbing studios that that um, he, Hiventi, which is the French French company, has also established a studio in Nigeria where they are localizing um, into into in, from I think from French to English. So so this tells us that there are potentials. If Hiventi can come to Lagos and open up a studio, I think there's a whole lot more that you know uh, Nigeria and Nollywood offers the world. I think I want to stop here now. Thank you.